Yes, a thymic epithelial tumors are rare and heterogeneous uh, malignancies. There are two major groups, the timomas and the thymic carcinomas, and the probability to have an advanced disease is higher, as higher is the uh, histological subtypes. Approximately one third of patients with a thymic carcinoma have advanced disease at baseline, and these patients will receive or will need a systemic tri uh, treatment upfront. Today, for those patients with unresectable thymic epithelial tumors, the first line treatment approach reminds the platinum based chemotherapy. And at the time of progressive disease, there is no standard second line treatment. I think that are really relevant in this setting for those patients that are platinum refractory uh, to test uh, the um, multi tyrosine kinase inhibitors with antiangiogenic properties. One of the most promising is lenvatinib, especially for thymic carcinoma, with a response rate of approximately 40% and a, a progression free survival of nine months. And also, our hopes are really focused in the immunotherapy. We know that immunotherapy really works in other thoracic malignancies, like, for example, known as small cell lung cancer, small cell lung cancer, and also mesothelioma. But in patients with a thymic epithelial tumors, we should be aware that approximately 30% of these patients might have an autoimmune disorder that might hamper that we use this immunotherapy in this population. For this reason, this immunotherapy has just been treated or uh, in clinical trials or used it in clinical trials for those patients with thymic carcinoma because the probability to have an autoimmune disorder is really low. Today, we know that this immunotherapy works with approximately 20% of response rate and 20% of patients that could be alive at five years and a response rate of a 20% and medium progression free survival of four months. Month. However, it's important to mention that it, not a stand, it's, it is not the standard of care and probably in the future will be really important or relevant to test this immunotherapy in combination either with chemotherapy or with antiangiogenic agents. And there are several clinical trials that are ongoing and testing these strategies.